Welcome to the ultimate power guide or everything you need to know about power in the infected. So let's get started. So when starting out you should use the wind turbines over the solar panels. The main reason being the wind turbines give you a steady 20 power where the solar panels will change depending on condition. Each battery holds a thousand power. A thousand power actually isn't that much. You're going to use that up pretty quickly. Batteries are very expensive as well. And while it is good to have a couple, if you're using wind turbines, there's no reason for them. Since wind turbines will always generate 20 power no matter what. So this is a little showcase of everything that uses power and how much power it uses. So as you can see, the fridge uses 75 power, while the ceiling light only uses 10 power. This toggle on the right doesn't turn the fridge on or off, it just shows if it is on or off. The mixer only uses 40 power and you do not need it on all the time. I recommend turning this off when you are not using it. On the other side, the all extractor uses 100 power. And I definitely recommend leaving this on 100% of the time. You need all cans for everything. The stone grinder uses 100 power and you can turn it off when you're not using it just like the mixer. The oil pump is the most expensive at 150 power. However, you should have this going all the time. It is definitely the most useful bit of tech you will get. The water house requires 100 power, but it does not need to be on all the time. It is used for the sink and to water plants inside the greenhouse. So you only really need to turn it on when you're using the sink or for one second just to water your plants in the greenhouse. Now I'm going to explain the control panel. So let's start with the batteries. You can see I have 23 batteries with a thousand power each. That means I have 23,000 battery power. So if I go and delete all my wind turbines, I will suddenly be required to use the backup battery power. Or if you're only using solar panels, you'll notice your battery power gets used at night, during storms, during a blizzard, things like that. The power in is how much I'm getting from all of my wind turbines and all of my solar panels. So the power available is how much power you have left after you subtract the power out from the power in you have. So if I go ahead, and turn all of these off, you can see it goes back up to the total power in number. So because I have all this turned on now, my power out, as you can see, is how much power I'm using, how much power is being used by the things I have connected up. And your control panel shows this for all of the electricity you have across the entire map, not just that one area you're in. And you really want a control panel, that's probably one of the first things you want to get. The second being a junction box. Now you're probably only going to have one control panel, but you're going to end up having a lot of junction boxes. You can rename your junction box whatever you want, and you use the junction box to see what switches you have connected, and what bits of tech that require power you have connected. You can also use a junction box to rename things, so if we rename the mixer to something like cement, you'll see it changes on the mixer as well, not just in the junction box. It also shows you the amount of power each thing is using up. And as you can see, the mixer has been renamed to cement. Now you might see all these wires and go, wow, that's a lot. It looks very messy. Now that's why people use relays because relays can need things up. But don't worry, I'll show you that in just a minute. The way to see these wires and see which direction they're going is by holding the upgrade tool. The upgrade tool shouldn't go down in durability, so you should only ever need one. And you do not need to connect wind turbines, solar panels, or batteries using any wires. All three of these things right here are completely wireless. They even go a step further than that, and I'll show you that very soon. To wire anything up, it will cost wire. You can make this or find it in villages, and you will need it in your inventory for it to work. So if I press E on the junction box, you can see I have some wire now. One wire is equal to one thing. So if I connect it to the oil pump, that powers the oil pump only. This can get very expensive when you start to factor in ceiling lights and relays. Which is why at the start of the game, your base is probably going to look like this, very messy, wires everywhere. If you want to disconnect something, 
just right click and click confirm you will get your wire back so don't worry however if you click delete wires on the junction box or the control panel it will delete all the wires connecting to it so make sure that is something you really want to do so you might come into this house and think wow it looks pretty simple nothing to it but then when you look up you realize there's two junction boxes and there is a lot of wire it's just neatly done and as you can see i've chained it along using the relays now you might be thinking how do you get it neat like that well it's simple you just have to use an electrical relay now this can and will get very expensive now if you want to use a wall switch i'm going to show you just how to do that grab it put it on the wall name it whatever you want or just accept yes no light switch we know we're fixing it go to your junction box press e you need at least one wire and then just connect it up to the light switch very simple stuff now as you can see the lights are still on so just change over to something else other than the upgrade tool and you can flick them off flick them on flick them off flick them on off on off you get the idea and that's how easy it is to add a light switch electrical relays are also pretty simple so all you want to do is go to your power tab click on the electrical relay place it where you want it usually place it up the top or down the bottom to hide it the best and then you just attach it from your junction box to the relay just like that very simple only one thing can be attached to that electrical relay at a time so keep that in mind so as you can see that one's attached if i attach this other one now it will now disconnect that one and connect this one so it's very simple how it works and you can see in this house I've done something that's called daisy chaining where you just make it go all along the roof like this one after the other to make it look very nice and very neat. So because the water house is on I can now use the sink just by emptying my flask and then filling it back up and that's clean water. As you can see the fridge is on. Now that I've flipped the switch, the fridge is off. Flip it again, fridge is on. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Something else you can do in the control panel is you can see all the junction boxes you have in the entire map. Whether you have one in a cobalt cave, where the fish lake is, where crocodiles are, across the entire other side of the map, you can see them all here. And if you double click one of the junction boxes, it will go into it and you'll be able to see everything inside of it. So if you click fridge, you can see it's got a fridge and a wall switch. If you double click lights, you can see the four ceiling lights in the house and the wall switch. If I click the one called surprise, you can see the ceiling lamps, the oil extractors, the oil pump. And if I click the one called subscribe, you can see all the things you saw before in the showcase. This is a great way of being able to rename things, turn things on, turn things off. It's very, very useful. So now I'm going to head across the map a little bit to show you more of how power works. So as you can see, there's a lot of wind turbines here. This is where I'm getting most of my power from. And I've done this just to show you that the power really is wireless. You can have it across the map if you want to. And it will still work for those things you have at your base. So a good idea would be to set up something like this that looks maybe a bit more neat. Where you just have a whole lot of wind turbines in one area and a whole lot of solar panels. Now solar panels, however, have to be on foundations or a ceiling. That's the only problem. Wind turbines you can put anywhere. And as you can see right now, I am not in range of the water house. Now we're very far away from the water house. However, the water house does have a range of about 24 foundations. And as you can see, we can still see everything using this other control panel. It's all there, easy to see, easy to turn off and on. Now this oil pump has been going the whole time and has been working on these mineral extractors and the mineral extractors back at our base. 
it works across the entire map you do only need one oil pump for the entire map which is pretty crazy and definitely worth the 150 power as you can see the solar panels are at 40 so we're just going to go to sleep so i can show you what it's like at night so now if we go check it out you'll be able to see it's actually not even on zero it's just there's no number at all which means zero actually so they're just not producing any power because there's no sunlight and it doesn't matter if you put it under a ceiling lamp or anything like that it doesn't do anything you can even put them inside in daytime and they will produce power but at night they don't do anything it's useless however you can see the wind turbines are still producing 20 power so now you can see the power available as well has dropped by 2000 because the solar panels aren't producing power so now it's daytime if we go check on them you can see it's slowly starting to come back up again up to 40 because it's daytime and the sun is coming back out so now i'm going to show you how to set up your own control panel junction box etc so first you want to go into power grab your control panel and you can either put it up on a wall like this or you can put it up on a pole now you'll notice because it's snowing the solar panels are starting to drop and also go back up a little bit it's sort of fighting itself because it's snowing it doesn't know what to do but if you notice it's nowhere near 40 which is its peak output and it's even lower than the wind turbine then you want to go ahead and put your junction box down you can put this wherever you like again you can put this on a wall or a pole it doesn't really matter the junction box is the thing you're going to be connecting your technology to let's say you want to connect your mixer and your stone grinder up to it you're going to get out your hammer you're going to go to the control panel press e and connect it to your junction box then you're going to go to your junction box press e and connect those wires to the things you want to connect up in this case the stone grinder and the mixer make sure you have enough wire on you as well you will need wire in your inventory if your junction box is too far away from your technology you can use an electrical relay to extend the range but again most likely you're only going to be using electrical relays to neaten up the wires around and not have them messy like this you cannot access these boxes while holding the upgrade tool as it's only meant for the wires so make sure you deselect it and then you can access it and do whatever you want to do if you like you can add a switch if not you're good to go that's all you needed to do very simple very easy like i mentioned earlier let's say you want to connect up your water house to a switch so it's not always on and so you can easily turn it on and off make sure you have your control panel hooked up to a junction box Then you want to go grab an electrical relay and put it wherever you like. Then you want to grab a wall switch, put that wherever you like, name it whatever you like. And then connect the junction box to the electrical relay and then the electrical relay to the switch and then the electrical relay to the water house. And there you go. And now you can hear it's on. But just to show you, okay, let's change that to water house. And now you can see it's on. Turn it off, you can see it's off. Turn it on, you can see it's on. Very simple, very easy to do. And just to show you it works, I'll even use the sink. And there you go. And I know all this seems pretty scary, but it is very simple once you learn how. All solar panels are the cheaper option. In the long run, they're not, because at night they don't work. During storms, blizzards, ETC, they don't work. And wind turbines do work all of the time, no matter what, even at night. And they will keep all your things running, no matter what. So as you can see, these mineral extractors have been powered by that oil pump i just showed you at the other location which is very far away all the way over there if this video helped you please give it a like and subscribe 
If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more guides or infected content, go check out my channel. Or click one of these boxes or the top right corner. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.